Welcome back to Created Rocks. Um, I'm just going to do a quick show today on some of the cool uh, rocks that I found when I was uh, rock hunting this Christmas and last Christmas in Kansas. And uh, my wife, my beautiful wife, is filming today. Hey, honey. Hi. So I wanted to show you first the petrified wood I found. It's just so stinking cool. It, you can see it's got this cool pattern in it, and. Um, and it's really, they come in big pieces, small pieces. And I really like the top of it because it has like this weird round kind of pattern design. And, um, and so, and also it splits off in these cool splinters. So it's like these kind of like just round or square, or not round, but like, uh, I don't know, just dagger looking things. So they're kind of cool looking. So that's how they splint off. They can splint off in small pieces or these big fat pieces. And I, was, I found a piece I couldn't even take home this Christmas. It was literally as big, like this big. I couldn't even fit in my backpack. So I had to leave it there, which was a little painful. But uh, this, like, this one's really cool. If you can zoom in on this one, you can see it's got like even a little, knot, like a little branch knob in it. So that's kind of cool. So <clears throat> I'm not sure what... Uh, kind of the secular uh, geologists would you know, age this. I don't know how many millions of years they'd say this is. But I, from a creationist viewpoint, I say it's thousands of years. And the flood, well, when it came to the earth and just, you know, destroyed the whole earth and covered up all the plants and the trees and killed the animals and things, that this is how, these were, this, is how this was formed from the flood. And so you can kind of see those splinters are kind of coming right out of the wood like that. And it's kind of a really... A, a brittle wood it's not really strong at all and this last one here it's um it might be the same stuff as this other stuff but it's got a certain coating on it that the other stuff doesn't have so i thought that was cool too so that this is the petrified stuff that i found i found some more but this is just the good stuff and so okay i'm going to show you what's next i'm going to show you i call, found some cool uh sandstone uh, formations and also uh, some gypsum crystals that were really cool so I'm going to show you those next. I forgot to tell you I also found some cool pyrite pieces there and so I'm going to show those to you right now. When I found these cool pieces of pyrite this this time I thought this is probably the coolest one that I found and uh, it's kind of like in this limestone looking stuff and so it's just scattered all it just scattered all around in there. Like it's hard to see in this one, but this is like a whole little pirate crystal part of it. And so I also found this this Christmas, but last Christmas I found these pyrite pieces too. But I keep them separate because they for some reason I'm not sure what, but they've got this like crystal or oxidization on it. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I tried to scrub it off once, but it didn't come off. So I kind of keep these pieces separate from the other one because I don't know, I don't know how not to, I don't want to affect the other rocks with this stuff. I don't know what it is. But uh, so, so far, the new ones I have found haven't done that, so I hope they don't. But yeah, this is, this is the cool pyrite stuff I found. It's probably one of my favorites right there. All right. Now, something they had a lot there in the mine was sandstone. And they have these little cool sandstone formations. And I like to call this one the rocket. It looks kind of like a rocket ship to me. But my wife just pointed out it looks like a little bunny. So there you go. And uh, it's kind of neat. You can kind of see like these little nodules. And inside of the nodules, they kind of look like this. They've got kind of like that same chemical oxidation as the pyrite. Cool. Like I thought this one was really neat. It looks like a little boat rudder or something. But it's really neat. And this is pretty common. You find these, these little bubble looking pieces all around. So I really like the sandstone ones, so I took some of those home. All right, the last thing I wanted to show you is these cool gypsum crystals that I've seen there before, but they're just, they're in the sand, just laying in the sand, just like this. And this time I got to take my older daughter with me to go rock hunting, and I think either I found this or she found it, but just like this cool those sandstone formation things. And we just made it into like a little bowl for all the calcite crystals we found. And so <clears throat> they have lots of different designs. 
and patterns. Uh, but this was the coolest one that I found. And it so struck me right away. It just looked like, uh, you know, resurrection cross, kind of like Jesus when he was on the cross, kind of made life beautiful after coming on and off the cross. And so it just really symbolically looked like that to me when I found it. So I thought that was, that's kind of my prize winner right there. That's really cool. And so I'll have, I'll have a whole bunch, I'll do a slideshow of these so you can see a little more up close. And uh, I just hope you enjoyed it. It was a great hunt. I'm, I'm not sure that I'll go to that same place this next year. I went to this mine a couple Christmases because my family lives out in Kansas. So I'm going to try to find some other Kansas places that I can go. I just want to cry out with the, the rocks, the gypsum, the petrified wood, and cry out to Jesus and praise him for all that he's made. Hope you enjoyed the video. All right, bye.